Hello Gemini Cancer, thank you so much for coming to my channel, I appreciate each and every one of you, thank you so much. If you like the way I read, go ahead and subscribe if you're new, if you like the way I, um, if you like this video, go ahead and give a thumbs up to this video, so thank you for all the support on the channel. So please remember there's no way this can connect to every single viewer out there. So take how it connects to you and leave how it doesn't connect to you. So the first one that comes up for you is Heaven. Beautiful. So let's see what this means real fast. Of course we all know what Heaven means. But let's see what the author of this deck says it means in this card deck. So she says this is the most spiritual card in the deck. Messages from the heavens are more than likely. You may be facing some major life challenges and questioning your future survival. Look for signs like appearance of a willy wagtail or extra bright flowers appearing significant times or clock that stops for no reason as these can be signs that your loved ones are close by. You will probably soon have dreams of a loved one. Very beautiful. So heaven's trying to connect with you. And the next one is Friendships, 18. So let me find 18. It says, selecting this card shows you're about to connect with some new friends and let go of others. Who may have proved false, toxic, or conniving. You may have experienced some personal turmoil recently and I bet you know your true and loyal friends. The ones who can depend on you can depend on through your life and who can share your inner thoughts, feelings, and secrets with. Friends are very important to you as they help with your development and spiritual growth. The right friends can also assist in making good decisions. So maybe it's a friend communicating with you from heaven, even, is what I feel. So the next one that comes up for you is paradise. Wow, so I feel like this could be a bridge from here to heaven for some of you. I really do. So this is this card indicates you are searching for the ultimate happiness in your life and have many unfulfilled desires. You may currently be unhappy about what's happening in the world or your own personal life and looking for inner peace and tranquility. The answers to your questions about the meaning and life, death, and what really makes you happy will be answered, but be patient. So maybe um, you're getting messages from heaven, but a new friend is coming to help you answer some of life's questions that you kind of can't answer and you need help with. You will have a lot more faith in the future. You will find greater spirituality and have greater satisfaction within your life. The Paradise card is a sign of good fortune for you, so feel more optimistic as things will start to improve. A more joyous career or life awaits. What others call castles in the sky or daydreams may become a reality if you have faith and believe in yourself and your abilities. Isn't that beautiful? So next we're switching to the Divine Animal Oracle for you. And the first one is Rhinoceros. Moderation. So this talks about going through a hard time. Um, very hard time. A lot of anger energy around you. A lot of hard time, which could explain the Heaven card coming out saying you're getting guidance. There is a change. Um, you're protected with Rhinoceros energy, which is really powerful riding you through that fire. I really feel like you're going through a hard time and this is telling you you're protected. The next one is peace, beautiful four. So this talks about um, maybe a friend is going to put you in a predicament where you're in a very difficult situation and you have the ability to be aggressive and start a conflict or to follow it with peace. So the peace talks about the gorilla being so heavy and masculine that he can pick up a boulder and instead of throwing it he sets it down and walks away. So that's restraint, having the ability, but this also talks about people seeing your kindness as weakness is what that peace energy means as well. So the next one is cat intuition. So there's somebody around you who's not being um, honest is what I'm feeling. I feel like you're very protected and your intuition is really high. You have somebody in Heaven trying to connect with you very strongly to give you guidance. But you have an untrustworthy person around you. 
Maybe it's for somebody who's very aggressive, who seems to put you in dramatic situations and then expects you to be the peacekeeper in the situation, if that rings a bell with some of you. That's what I'm getting. So the next one is happiness. I am aware that being happy means that I'm on the right path. Beautiful. So a lot of heart chakra, a lot of emotions there, throat chakra, communicating happiness. Adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. So this talks about going through very difficult times. It would make sense going through the fire. is very hard. You maybe were happy and then you went through a difficult time is what I'm feeling. And then health. Wow, so didn't we have this? Was that the health card? No, that was heaven. Okay. So health talks about, I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. So this talks about... Um, maybe people made comments about your health, the way you ate, what you ate, your body image. Maybe there's something around that to where it was, affected your happiness to where somebody was really negative that. If that was the case, you do have somebody that is um, wearing a mask and not really a true friend around you, a friend of me, so to speak. So... That is clarifying that card behind you, so hopefully that connects to where you know who it is. So the next one is shadows. So shadows is talking about um, imprints that people have put on you, dark sides, affecting your happiness. I do feel like somebody has just really tried interfering, and somebody in heaven is protecting you and really trying to make you aware of how you can use your energy to push this person and their dark aggressive energy away. You're getting guidance. So then you have Earth Chalice. So Earth Chalice talks about being grounded, being connected to the Earth, being able to start a new beginning, to release the dark imprints people have put on you. Negative imprints like, oh, you're saying, I don't even want to say them because I don't want to put them out there in the energy. Um, but people just putting negative comments towards you in the past and making you go home and think about it and think if you were what they were saying. That is just horrible. And so this is saying you are aware that you are stronger than that, you're grounded, and they were trying to affect your stability. And the next one is air chalice. So they were trying to affect your thinking as well. Somebody, untrustworthy friend, trying to affect your thinking and your um, stability. Unreal, really. So now we're going to finish off with the Cats Tarot Fantasy Oracle deck. The first one for you is Dreaming, number three, beautiful third eye chakra being open, getting information during dreams, getting information during full moons. Getting messages all over the place, but that's when you're most likely to remember them. So empowering, number seven. You are grounded, you are being impounded by your angels and ancestors in heaven. Beautiful, beautiful. And then the next one is desiring belonging. So you desire to belong somewhere, you desire to fit in, have your little um, soul tribe, family tribe, but you'll get there. It's saying have patience that you'll get there. You'll probably get there faster now because of this person trying to put you through a dark side or keep you stuck in some way that will, um, and you prospered. You have you made it through the fire. So thank you so much. Bless you.